Installation Preparation Autosys Workload Automation DB Connection Configuration and Validation In this module, we are going to learn how to Configure a connection from a Windows server to an Oracle database Configure a connection from a Linux server to an Oracle database Configure a connection from a Windows server to a Microsoft SQL Server database and Configure a connection from a Linux server to a Microsoft SQL Server database. In this section, we will learn how to create and validate a configuration to connect to an Oracle database from a Windows server. This Windows server will be the Autosys server. The first thing to keep in mind is that the Oracle client must be installed on the machine in order to connect to the database. Typically, a database administrator, DBA, is responsible for performing this task. But for training purposes, we are going to view how to configure the connection. The database administrator must provide us with the following information. The system user credentials. It will also be required to install Autosys. The service name of the database. And the name of the server on which the database is running. The first step we need to do is to confirm connectivity to the database server. We send a ping command to the database server to check its responsiveness. The ping returns a positive response, indicating successful database connection. Let's open the Oracle Net Configuration Assistant now. This is the Oracle client's component that enables us to create and maintain the connection. Let's select the option Local Net Service Name Configuration. Select Add and Next. Enter the service name that has been provided. The connection will be made using TCP IP. Next, we enter the server name. Let's proceed to test the connection now. We select change login and enter system as the user. We enter the password for the system user. And then we test. The connection was been established successfully. This is the net service name or the database alias. It is the name we will use to connect to the Autosys database. Click on next. Select the No option. We don't want to create another connection. Click on Finish to complete the creation of the connection. Now we are going to test the connection. To test the connection, we can use the TNS ping command. From ADOS prompt, we enter TNS ping, followed by the service name. We have received a successfully response indicating we can reach the database server. Now, let's see where the connection configuration was created. We go to the Oracle Client Installation path. And under the Network Admin directory, we look for the TNS name .ora file. We open the file. And we can see the connection that we just created with the alias name. Another test we can perform to validate the connection is using the SQL plus command. Enter the SQL plus command followed by database user and password and the alias. We have logged into the database. We have confirmed we can connect successfully to the database. Another important topic to consider 
is if the connectivity between the server and the database goes through a firewall. We need to open the port we have defined here, 1521 by default, and the firewall. In this server, we have opened the port in the Windows firewall in both directions. We have completed how to configure and test a connection from a Windows server to an Oracle database. In this section, we will create and validate the configuration of a connection from a Linux server to an Oracle database. The first thing we need to do is check if we have connectivity to the database server. We execute a ping command to the database server and get a response. We have connectivity to the server. The second step is to ensure that the Oracle client is installed in the Linux server. Here we have it installed. Next, we execute the Oracle Net Configuration Assistant, NetCA, to create the database connection. On the Net Configuration Assistant, select the Local Net Service Name Configuration option and click on Next. Select the Add option and click on Next. Enter the service name and click on Next. Select TCP option and click on Next. Enter the name of the database server. And select the option Yes Perform a Test to test the connection. Click on Change Login and enter system as the user and password. and click OK. The response is successful. We have connectivity to the database. This is the net service name or alias. We'll use it to connect to the Autosys database. It is the one we'll provide at the time of Autosys installation. Select the No option. Select Finish to complete the configuration. We have completed the creation of the connection to the database. Let's see how it was created. We navigate to the network slash admin directory and look for the file tnsnames.ra file. The tnsnames.ora is the file where the connection configuration is located. This is the alias name we will use during Autosys installation. Now we test the connection. We enter a TNS pin command followed by the alias name. We get an OK response. We have connectivity to the database. Now we are going to test we can log into the database. Enter a SQL plus command followed by the user, slash password, and the service name. We have logged into the database. We have confirmed the connection to the database has been created successfully. Now we are going to see how to connect to a Microsoft SQL Server database from a Windows Server. This Windows Server will be where the Autosys Server will be installed. To establish the connection to the Microsoft SQL Server, we need to have a Microsoft SQL Server client installed in this machine. Once the Microsoft SQL Server client is installed, the Database Administrator, DBA, must provide us with the following information. The name of the database server where we are going to connect. In this case, Autosys BBDD. 
in the name of the database, in this case, AEDB. In addition, the DBA must provide us with the user credentials to use. We will use this information later when we install AutoSys. To validate, we can connect to the database. We enter a SQL CMD command with the database server name, database name, user, and password. Press Enter. Now we are logged into the database. We have confirmed the connection works properly. And finally, we are going to see how to connect to a Microsoft SQL Server database from a Linux server. This is the Microsoft SQL Server database where we are going to connect. This is the database server. And this is the database. This is the Linux server where we'll install AutoSys and connect to the database. To start, we must always validate we have connectivity with the database server. How do we validate the connectivity? With a ping command. We ping the database server from the Linux server. We get a ping response. The Linux server can reach the database. To connect to the Microsoft SQL Server, the database client must be installed in the Linux server. Let's see where the Microsoft SQL Server client is installed. These are the MS SQL tools. And here we have the OBCD driver. Now, with the SQL CMD command, which is part of the SQL Server Client Utilities, we will connect to the database. We include the following parameters, the server name, the database name, the user, and password. Press Enter, and we connect to the database. With this test, we are confident that when installing AutoSys, the connection to the database will be successful. We have completed how to configure a database connection for AutoSys. In this module, you learned how to configure and validate a connection from a Windows Server and Linux Server to an Oracle database, and configure and validate a connection from a Windows Server and Linux Server to a Microsoft SQL Server database.